Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Greek here. I wanted us to read together today. Um, this is one of my favorite stories. It's called The Pout Pout Fish. And look at his face. If you see his face right there, you can see why he is called the Pout Pout Fish because look at that pouty face that he is making. You can tell by that big frown right there that he is a pouty fish. What does it mean to pout? What do you think? Probably whine and complain and be sad and gloomy. Well, that's what that fish is. So let's begin. The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason and pictures by Dan Hanna. Pout Pout Fish. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Look at that pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Ms. Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish, he floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scrowl. I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I Spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of moke. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend. Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. What do you think he's going to say? Here he goes again. Can you guys say it with me? I'm a pout. Pout fish with the pout pout face. So I spread the dreary weirries all over the place. Blub. 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 Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the oven underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Says the fish to his friend, 
Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. She plants a kiss. Oh, I skipped a page. Let's go back. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer the gang has never seen before. The bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying hey, <gasps> she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away oh my goodness look at these guys look at their face what do you think is going to happen to the pout pout fish <laughs> mr fish is most astounded mr fish is just aghast he is stone faced like a statue then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. <laughs> Look at his face now. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face. For spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Smooch. All right. Look what it says on the back. Sometimes a kiss is all it takes to turn things around. And that's so true, boys and girls. He thought he was just this pouty, grouchy, unhappy, sad fish. And he just kept moping along and moping along and being sad and staying sad. And anytime anybody tried to help turn it around with him or tell him something to try to help him, he always said the same thing. He, he just said, this is just my face. This is how it is. But we all know better than that, don't we, boys and girls? We all know that we determine our own attitude. And all it took was someone showing him how to be kind and to make him a little bit happy to realize that he didn't have to be a sad, grouchy, pouty fish all the time. He realized he was wrong and all he had to do was change his attitude and turn that frown upside down to turn into a new kind of fish. I hope you guys enjoyed that story and I want you to remember that right now. Sometimes all it takes is just a little change in our attitude to make things better. I know that right now we're going through a hard time not being able to see each other, not being able to do things together, and some of us might look like this because we feel sad sometimes. But we still have a lot to be thankful for and grateful for, and I know that we will all see each other soon. And in the meantime, we can continue to keep sharing pictures and stories and anything else that we may need so that we can turn that frown upside down just like the pout pout fish did. I love you guys very, very much and I miss you tons and I hope that you enjoyed the pout pout fish. Love you.